What's up everyone, my name is Mike Kleinert. Today we are talking about the new major update for the Insta360 ONE X app, which included the features Color Plus, True Audio and the Story Editor panel. I will show you where you can find the new features and how to use them. You will also see some before and after example and my thoughts about it, so stay tuned. It is currently only available for iOS using the Insta360 ONE X and the Insta360 GO. What are the new features for the Insta360 app? The update brings better visual with Color Plus, better audio with the True Audio and a new story editing panel which called Stories at the bottom part in the app. An Android version will be out soon so stay tuned. Okay, let's go right into it. The new Color Plus and the Audio Tune features are toggle switch function in the app. It's powering the adjustment through an artificial intelligent algorithm. You can toggle both on or off after recording your clips. We start with the Color Plus. The Color Plus feature will enhance your colors, look more vivid and more balanced in your dynamic range in your footage. Where can you find the Color Plus toggle? You will find the Color Plus toggle when you finish editing your clip, then press the share or export button, then choose album or any other share option. You will see at the left bottom corner under the showing video clips, a little checkbox symbol where you can toggle on or off the Color Plus. You will see the results after exporting the video clip. I will show you some example now. Here you can see how it performs when it's toggled on and when it's toggled off. It's insane how much better the footage looks like if you switch on the Color Plus. You can see the video is much brighter, vivid, vibrant and looks sharper. I guess it's boosting also the shadows and lower the highlights because I can see a bit more noise in the blacks and some purple correction. It's different from clip to clip and it means nothing bad. You just need to see if it's improved your clip or not. You can also go through your old footage and add the new features to fresh them up. We are coming now to True Audio. When toggle on the True Audio after recording your footage, they developed an AI function that will detect, filter out and boost your recorded voice and decrease the ambition noise volume. It means no more distracting loud noises like wind, vehicles, train, construction work or anything else in your background. It will sound way more natural and you can use the 360 action camera better for vlogging. Where can you find the True Audio toggle? The True Audio toggle you can switch on or off after recording your clip, going into the app, then choose the clip, click at the three virtual dots at the right top corner. If you turn it off and on again, you can also choose two options, which is voice focus and action focus. The action focus will remove stronger ambition noises, such as rushing wind. That's what I am removing. Here are some test footage. That should be good. And see how the audio is. I have some background noise right now because on the left side a train is there and uh, we'll see if, if the app can remove the train noise and get only my audio voice or my speaking voice. So I'm speaking at the front of the camera and there are two microphones. Who you can hear that my voice sounds much louder when I start cycling and the wind noise gets reduced, which is the setting voice focus and even more with the action focus. It's a nice improvement to your audio. Last but not least, we are coming to the new story editor function. I love this option. Create a story, which means you can select multiple clips and combine them in a project to create a single video. Now, with the new update, you can do all in one app. You don't need to use any other third-party apps to create your videos together. If you have any other footage from your camera or smartphone, you can easily add this to your project as well. As I mentioned before, you can create a project. And not only this, you can choose a bunch of effects, filters, text options, music, or transition to your clip. Isn't it cool? It's fucking insane. Isn't it cool? <laughs> Where can you find the story editor function? You can find the story editor function at the lower bottom, which is an icon named stories. Super easy to use. You can select all your favorite moments and edit them all in one place to make a single video. After selecting your clips, you can edit them with the free capture option using Pivot Point, Viewfinder, which is my favorite, and Smart Tracks, or also Multiview. Then you can trim or speed up the clips to create some hyperlapse or slow it even down. Next, you can edit some text over the clip or next to the clip. You have four text styles 
with the position centered or subtitled, which is a lower third. I personally would like to have some more text options so that I can manually change the font size or add some overlay logos to the clip. What about transition? Yes, they have 23 transition from one clip to the another, which is insane. You can choose blur, scroll, fade, whip, spin, zoom, or slide from literally every direction. Okay, let's get some beats under the video. They have a little music library, but you also can use one of your own music, which you have in your iTunes. You can easily change the volume separated from your footage or your music. After editing your project, you can toggle on or off the color plus for the whole project. Be aware, this will also increase your render time, but hey, it's good quality, it's good color. I had a one minute project with text, music, effects, transitions, speed ramps, true audio on and color plus on, which was a render time from five minutes, which is super quick and good. Oh yeah, don't close the app. The new features are an awesome improvement to us creators. It makes editing your favorite moment to a storytelling video on your phone even easier than before. And you can get way more creative with all your clips so you can share it to your friends or on social media. If you have any question to the Insta61X or the new features, please let me know in the commentars down below. And also thank you to Insta60 for the amazing updates and listening to their users. They are doing an awesome job of improving the app without buying a new camera. I've heard that all the new features will be in the Insta60 Studio desktop version soon as well. I can't wait for it. If you're thinking about buying an Insta61X, you can help me to grow my channel with the affiliate links down below in the description. You will also get a free battery or selfie stick to your order from the Insta60 store. Let me know if you liked this video in the commentars, give me a big thumb, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss my future videos. It will make a huge difference to us creators on YouTube. Thank you so much and we see us in the next video. With text, music, effects, transitions, speed ramps, true audio on, which this is a rap. I'm not a rapper here. So why are there some rap parts here? Last but not least, we're coming to the new story editor function. I really love this option. Last but not least, we're coming to the new story editor function. Okay, here we go. It makes it's made. It make it make it makes it make it make bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da oh. <laughs>